How we doing guys? And of course it is the North London derby on Sunday. Arsenal against Spurs. And it means I get to do a combined 11. Now I love doing this kind of video when the big games come around. Whether it's Manchester United, Man City, Liverpool and even Spurs. Normally I wouldn't do a combined 11 with a team like Spurs because they're not a big club. But it's the North London derby. We all know what this means. It's the one fixture that I look for at the start of the season. I love this game. I love playing against Spurs. I absolutely detest this club. And the Spurs fans that detest us. It works both ways. The feeling's mutual. It's lovely. Now, normally, when I do these kind of videos, I do it with my Arsenal head on. And it's an Arsenal 1-11 to all the way through. It's as simple as that. But today, I'm going to try and be neutral. I'm going to try and be fair and give honest, you know, <laughs> opinions on this. So, <laughs> let's go and get into the 1-11. to Now, in goal, I'm going to have a little look at this, right? Of course, we, one thing I'm going to say, first and foremost, any injured players... They're not going to be included in this. If they're they're not fit to play, they're not going to be included. The only one with a slight question mark, which I will keep in this debate, is Martinelli because it's kind of 50-50, is he, isn't he? But players like Thomas Partey, for example, I'm not going to include them because they're definitely not going to be playing. Neither is Durian Timber. You get the gist of it. So, in terms of the goalkeepers, I think... With Arsenal, we've got two goalkeepers. Like, it's very evident. What will Mikel Arteta do? Um, and with Spurs, they've got Vicario that's been there for their five games. And it's a very simple one. It doesn't matter whether Arsenal play Ramsdale or David Rea. They will get head of Vicario. It's as simple as that. You could debate it. You can argue about it. You've got no leg to stand on. It's as simple as that. So... David Rea, for me, will get the nod and he goes in goal. Now, in terms of the right back position, this will be between Emerson Royal um, and Ben White. There's only one winner and it's Ben White. It's as simple as that. Um, Emerson Royal hasn't had a bad start to this season. Calamitous before. Spurs fans didn't want him. Maybe it's their you know, new manager and everything else and he's got a new lease of life. But that new lease of life doesn't give him more life than Ben White. It's as simple as that. Uh, now, we're going to move to the centre-backs. Now, with Arsenal, there's just two names. It's Gabriel and William Saliba. With Spurs, you've, of course, got Christian Romero. Uh, five appearances this season. Um, you've got Pedro Porro. Um, you've got Mickey van der Ven. Don't pay much attention to them. Um, but first and foremost, William Saliba. There's not a single Spurs player that is getting ahead of William Saliba. There's not a single player in the Premier League that's getting ahead of William Saliba. So William Saliba goes there. Next up, I suppose you could say, is it Christian Romero? I don't really know too much about Van der Ven. Uh, Pedro Porro, no. It's going to be Gabriel. He is the better defender. And you will sit there and go, Christian Romero, he's won the World Cup with Argentina and everything. He was dreadful in the World Cup. Absolutely horrendous. Wasn't even involved in particular. And listen, it's not going to happen. Gabriel is starting all day long. Now, in the left-back position... I feel that this is Destiny Udogi, is that how it's pronounced? And Sinchenko. I think that's who they've been playing at left back. Sinchenko, all day long. Like, this guy's made five Premier League appearances. He's been here this season and, like, he's not getting ahead of Sinchenko. Use your heads for a second here. He does not get ahead of Sinchenko. Not in any way, shape or form. It's as simple as that. Now we move to the midfield. And this, of course, is where there will be some debates. Um, 
Ivan Perisic, I believe he's got a long-term injury now. So, again, going back to the injury side of things, he won't be um, included. Uh, you've got Hoiberg. I don't even know why I've said his name. Not a Hope in L's chance. You've got Oliver Skip. Well, he can skip off down the road because there's no chance of that. Uh, Benton Kerr, of course, I think he's still injured. So, again, Basuma. Had a new lease of life at Spurs. Really liked him at Brighton. I think he's a good player. Um, but will he get ahead of Declan Rice? Absolutely no chance will he get ahead of Declan Rice. It is as simple as that. So I can reel off these names as long as I want. They're not getting ahead of Declan Rice. Not Matassar. Not none of them. Absolutely none of them. Very, very simple. Now, on the right-hand side, do I even need to debate this one? There's not a single player that is going to take the place of Bukayo Saka. Not one. Not Kulisewski. Not anybody. It's very, very simple. Bukayo Saka. Next up, we're going to have Martin Odegaard. And there's, again, the names I've been reeling off for Spurs. It's not even worth having a debate. Nobody in that Spurs team, in that midfield, gets ahead of Martin Odegaard. It's that simple. Um, James Madison, he's had a great start to life at Spurs. I do like him as a player. But ahead of Martin Odegaard in that spot? No. Now, next to Martin Odegaard, and I'm playing this system in the way that Arsenal will. Um, so before it would be Granit Xhaka, you know, that kind of role. Now with Arsenal, you've got Fabio Vieira, you've got, um, oh, Kai Havertz, I forgot for a second there. Um, and then you're going to have James Madison. Now I'm going to have to pick James Madison. Okay. Kai Havertz has had a tough start to life at Arsenal. Um, Fabio Vieira has done really well and looks a different player this season but James Madison has really hit the ground running at Spurs and he's a quality player and I feel if you had Madison and Odegaard the pair of them that would be good so that's what I'm going to go with um, on the left hand side I think there's only really two selections that you're going to look at here and you've got Hume Son and you've got Martinelli uh, you've got Trossard as well that plays out on, you know, that left-hand side. Um, what I will say with Hume Min Son is that last season, he had an awful, awful season. Um, the goals he scored this season, three, the hat-trick, um, he actually played as a striker, not on the left-hand side. So I don't know if he's going to be out and out on the left. If you're talking about the longevity and what's been done, you're going to have to go with Hume Min Son. Last season, Martinelli had the better season. There is a 50-50 toss-up of, you know, whether Martinelli's going to be fit or not. Last season, um, Trossard had a better season than Hume Min Son. Um, but I do like him, sadly. I do like him as a player. Um, and I'm going to have to put him on that left-hand side out of, you know, the three options, sadly. Um, you know, you've got uh, Solomon, you know, is an attacking player. It's not going to happen. You've got Brennan Johnson. That's a recent sign in this, not in a million years. Um, and that's very, very straightforward. Now, as the strikers, I think with Spurs, um, you've really only got one option that you're going to go for there, which is Richarlison. And then with Arsenal, you can have Eddie Nketiah or you can have Gabriel Jesus. I can tell you this right now. I will have Gabriel Jesus and I would have <laughs> Eddie Nketiah over the pigeon all day long. I do not rate Richarlison in any way, shape or form. Bang average. Awful footballer. And it's as simple as that. As my main striker, it's Gabriel Jesus all day long. I don't care. Debate it till the cows come home. I don't care. Gabriel Jesus is the striker. 
and Richarlison gets absolutely nowhere near this team. It's as simple as that. So there we go. That is my combined 11. Um, David Rare in goal. Ben White, William Saliba, Gabriel, Senchenko. Um, Declan Rice, Bukayo Saka, Martin Odegaard, James Madison, Heumin Son and Gabriel Jesus. Nine Arsenal players, two Tottenham players. And you're lucky that you even got those two. But um, yeah, that's my thoughts. That's my opinion. And you can let me know in the comment section whether you agree or disagree. If you're new around it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Smash a like on this video. And I will see you a lot very soon. I'm out of here.